Looking to stake a claim on some security wisdom in a hurry? Well, you're in luck, Keyboard Cowboy. It's time for another Black Hills Information Security Nugget. Is that a skunk? Nope, we're just spraying passwords. Brought to you by Black Hills Information Security. Now here's John Strand. Hello and welcome. My name is John Strand. And in this particular video, we're going to talk about what is password spraying? Why is password spraying? And how is password spraying? Let's start with the what. Password spraying is where an attacker takes a password that is most likely to be used by someone in an organization. Say an organization's 50,000 people. Out of 50,000 people, someone is going to be using the password of company name 123. Somebody is going to be using a password of season and year, like spring 2023. They're gonna use these commonly used passwords that we see again and again and again, even password 123 with an at symbol for the A. Somebody's going to use that really crappy password. So what they're going to do as an attacker is they're going to try to spray every one of those user IDs with these commonly used passwords in environments for the perspective of trying to gain access or move laterally inside of their environment. Now, for this demo, I'm going to use one of my labs in, uh, from AntiSiphon in my Pay What You Can training. I'm just going to run through it. First thing I'm going to do is just kill AV because the goal of this isn't to like show AV. Great. AV is not running. The next thing I'm going to do is open up a command prompt. And all of this is in the instructions. All of it's available for free because free is awesome. I'm going to CD into the tools directory and I'm going to run 200 user gen dot bat. Now what this does in the VM is it creates 200 users. So it gives you that kind of real feeling deep down that you're actually spraying. 200 users because you're literally spraying 200 users in this environment. So now whenever I've done that, I'm going to jump into a PowerShell prompt. We're going to set the execution policy unrestricted, which is what attackers do to get around any of the security settings um, that in, exist in many organizations. Then we're going to import local password spray. This is a tool that's created by Daft Hack or Bull Bullock. And we're going to try to invoke password spray with a password of season and year. Let me zoom in on this. So we're invoking the local password spray utility. We're feeding it a parameter for the password of winter 2020. So what this does is it's going to dump a list of all the users, all 200 users. Then it's going to attempt to log in to each one of those users with a password of winter 2020. Now it says password spraying is complete. These are the users who have that password. And now as an attacker, they can log in to these accounts and start pulling down their files and trying to get as consistent access, uh, persistent access rather, on the environment um, to try to move laterally or just start stealing emails, all kinds of things that they can do. Now, this particular technique is used in two main attack scenarios. The first attack scenario is externally breaking in. You can use this to gain access to accounts, especially if two-factor authentication is not enabled. For some portals, even if two-factor authentication is enabled, it still works, which I know sounds weird, but stick with me. It can be used to harvest user IDs and passwords. What happens in a lot of portals, whenever you enter a valid user ID and password, it then takes you to another page to request your two-factor authentication. You can actually use Burp following those redirects where you can see every time that happens, you've just harvested a valid user ID and password. You may not be able to log in there, but you may be able to log in someplace else. The other way that we see it being used far more often than external is post-exploitation. The way this works is an attacker gets access to your environment and they'll do the password spray to move laterally to other accounts in your environment in the hopes that they're going to find a domain administrator somewhere. So I hope you like this video. We're going to have some videos on some defenses. If you want, I got videos on uh, honey accounts and using cyber deception, which works great for detecting this type of attack in your environment. So I'll see you in another video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you stuck around this long, like and subscribe to get more Black Hills InfoSec nuggets. And check out these other videos while you're at it. See you on the range, keyboard cowboy.